After two months of finding a vehicle and then converting it into a pretty functional living space, it's time to head off to Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville is a city located in the Blue Ridge Mountains. The drive from where I am in Pennsylvania to Asheville is about 550 miles, nine hours, and we're going to try to avoid all tolls. Let's get Yuki, the Jeep, out on the road and see if a used 257,000 mile Jeep can make the journey, as well as a rather timid and sensitive girl, me. Hi, by the way, I'm Victoria. Today is the day. I'm really leaving. <laughs> I packed everything up. I moved everything that I have in. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'll give you a tour of everything in the next video, just a full tour. Today's video is gonna be me leaving Western Pennsylvania and driving all alone down to North Carolina. I've never driven this far before. It's about nine to 10 hour drive. I don't think I can drive that amount of distance in one shot. I'm gonna have to stop somewhere and sleep, I think. So it'll be my first night sleeping in my new home. It's a beautiful day. It's a perfect day to go. And I'm really excited to be traveling into an area that has much better weather. I'm scared. This is very unknown for me. I'm not used to traveling like this. Usually whenever, you know, I'm leaving somewhere, I'm like, okay, I gotta go catch my flight, but I'm not catching a flight. I'm staying in America and I'm, it's all in my control. What if something is wrong? I try to sign up for AAA, but I signed up today and they said it's not activated for 24 hours, so I have no roadside assistance in case anything does go awry. I have no rack, so we had to strap the tire really, really tight to the top, my spare tire. Um, if I'm gonna get it off, I have to cut it with a knife. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit nervous. I miss you. Bye bye, Toot Toot. Bye bye. <laughs> Love you. Good time. Drive safe. Wear your seatbelt. Look out. Always look in your rearview mirror. Thanks for everything. Always look in your rearview mirror. And aloneness, loneliness, freedom, and fear. And there's a lot of unknown. My sister wants me to bring her this pen. And I am going to go and meet my sisters there, so that is good. Because if I wasn't, I'd be absolutely terrified. And I'm usually not like this terrified for whenever I go to other countries. I don't speak the language, I'm just going there by myself. For some reason this time, I'm just really scared. <laughs> I don't know why. And when you do something different than what you normally do, um, you're gonna feel a lot of different things and you shouldn't not do things because of that feeling of anxiety. Anxiety is not really real. Anxiety is more of like feelings inside yourself that you don't understand. The feeling of unknown because you can't predict it. But we could turn that around to being a good thing. And I put myself in a lot of anxiety and a lot of uncomfortable situations, especially for me as a person. I think the things that I do are hard, but I think particularly for me, they're 10 times harder than it would be for the average person just because well, I don't feel like I function as properly. I feel like a little tiny little wee baby all the time but i'm like i'm an adult i'm an adult i'm an adult i gotta keep reminding myself i am charging my sister's battery that she's not letting me use it's solar powered but it's all charged so i have that and i also have this <sighs> got a layer on the sun block because it's gonna be a lot more sun where i'm going the sun's gonna be hitting me Look at that nice, those nice seat covers. Thank you, whoever got those off my wish list. It's time to go, Tori, it's time to go. But I don't wanna go alone. You got to. All right, I will. I'm stopping already, it's been like half an hour. I'm getting some gas, I'm on half a tank, so I figured 
it would be good to stop here and get some gas first at this nice big sheets. <sighs> I'm so stressed out. I'm usually not the driver. I'm the passenger. Passenger girl. My back's sore already. Great. Update. My back hurts. My eyes are stinging, but I'm in West Virginia. Um, I have about seven hours, six and six to seven hours left. I need out, I need out of here, get me out of here. I wanted to get a taser, but um, Amazon wouldn't ship tasers to my location for some reason. So I'll just spray lots of pepper spray. Oh God. Got everything? Got everything? Yeah. Yeah. My whole life. My whole everything. Just get back on this highway. I keep on oh, robbing. <laughs> We're just gonna go on this highway. We're just gonna take this highway and call it our own. Here on the wild west. The wild east. More like. This is a sweat producing rad. The battery that I have back here. I also got some water. So we should hydrate. Let me demonstrate. It's nice to have a little home. <laughs> so let me show you how this works. I got uh, three gallons of water back here from Walmart. And I'm gonna stick this in the water. Turn this on for a second. Pour myself some water. I actually found these at Walmart. I couldn't find any of these. They didn't have them out yet because it's still winter, but I found these in the clearance and I just am using these for the moment to put in the back when I'm sleeping. It's a temporary solution. I just didn't have time to deal with it. I'm definitely gonna have to stop and like sleep. I really like um, these, that they're magnetic. So you just connect it to the magnets up here. Oh, they can see me back, <laughs> back here. This is my pantry. Choo, choo, choo. So this is my food box that I packed. So look at this. Wow, so fancy. I'm going to have one of these. And then it smells so good because I have teas. This is vanilla spice tea. And then I also have some Zen tea. Snack. Throw the garbage away. <laughs> No problems yet. Only thing is I'm really tired. I put the wipes easily accessible right here. And I got like a bunch of stuff from the Amish store. So I got some of these for $1.50. I don't know if these are gonna help my face, but I'm just gonna put one up there just in case. Cause I don't have any makeup on, but I don't know why they're burning so much. I think it's just, they're just sensitive to everything. I'm just a sensitive girl. I'm gonna go do a stretch and then we're gonna Go again. There's always people out here. I don't want to be seen. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Choop, choop, choop. I'm not even gonna wear shoes this this leg. This leg of the drive. No shoes for me. <laughs> I did it. It's actually ra rather terrifying because I had to put 110% trust in Yuki. And not that I don't trust you, Yuki, but it's just me and my car. There's, I don't know anyone. I'm out in the middle of nowhere this whole drive. It's just me. This is gonna be pitch black, but I'm just recording my voice. This GPS is hanging me out in the middle of, well, fuck, West Virginia. I don't know where I'm at. It's not taking me on the highways. My ears keep popping. The hills are intenser in the Virginias. Um, yeah, I really wanna get back on highway because these types of roads when the cars are coming at me and their lights like this one is shining in my eyes like it hurts <laughs>
it took me on this really windy way and if you've ever driven virginia or west virginia the, the roads are so windy that you can't really go fast so you have to and there's just like oncoming traffic constantly and my eyes are burning i have like three and a half hours left but i need to go to sleep so we're gonna do a little nighttime routine i'm in a rest stop but there's no facilities so there's no toilets it's just a place to park and i'm just gonna sleep here my back is killing me i'm so glad that i have a bed back here I need as much privacy as possible i have these up and i'm just gonna cover these windows so i put velcro on these <laughs> and now I'm going to move this stuff around so I can actually put my bed out. Some toner. Face wash. Whoops, that's way too much. I'm too tired for this. I can't rinse this. I can't see. <laughs> we did too much. That was a mistake. <laughs> it was like the whole tube. Huh. I'm not gonna do the whole routine, but you get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'll do the rest of that later. I'm just gonna put this out the door. I'm gonna change into my nightgown. These aren't even ripe yet. I hate unripe bananas, but. Okay. I'm gonna have some, pro I'm gonna have a protein shake. Okay, if you can see this, which you really can't, down here, this is, it, it just set on the, the thing, so I can just go like this. Click, and then click, and just have water in there. I need a bigger cup for this. But I'm gonna do this in small portions, but this is actually the best tasting protein that I've ever had. This is going to be a bit of a mess. Let's just... Protein shake. Mm, we the end. All I need to do to clean this is go... Psh, 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 psh. I just love how smooth that makes it. It's so much better than a blender bottle. I hate blender bottles. They start smelling so bad. I have my fan that's blowing. And my phone is charging and now I am going to pack on my phone for a while and then go to sleep so it's about midnight right now and I just woke up I have no idea what I look like but it's very it's a very interesting feeling being alone but not like I'm in this rest area which mind you I really have to pee <laughs> And there's no bathroom here. I want to show something to you guys. I just thought of this. <laughs> At Walmart. The other day I found this on sale. I got this not to be a toilet. It's a portable bucket and I thought it was so cool and I forgot to show you guys, but it's amazing. And I think if it gets really bad, uh, I have bags. And I might just need to pee in here and throw it in the garbage. I'm just gonna say, if it's really bad, if I really can't hold it, it's an emergency thing. <laughs> I, I'd feel so humbled doing that. It's fine, I'll figure out my, my groove in here. But I just had a headache from all the lights and the lights coming at me at, at nighttime. Like, it's so much for me. Like, my eyes are so sensitive. So I just have a headache from that. But anyways, I was thinking, like, I'm in this rest stop area alone but at the same time surrounded by all these other people that are kind of like in this little world of transition of between places. And it's kind of like, it feels like a, a little community. I don't want to feel like I need other people for my happiness, but at the same time, I think everyone needs people. And I don't th think you can truly fill every void by yourself. And I don't, I used to think that you could just always be alone and be completely filled, but I don't know. I think we need other people to help heal us. 
and to fulfill us because we are community animals. So those are my thoughts. I'm gonna to try to go back to sleep for a little bit. I'll let you know if I pee in the bucket. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pee in the bucket. <laughs> Perfect temperature for sleeping, I think. And it rained pretty much the whole night, which was very nice. I woke up a lot of different times because of um, all the big trucks coming in and out. I'm not gonna lie, I used the bucket. <laughs> I really had to go, okay? It was glorious and terrifying at the same time, in case you wondered. There are so many semis. Is that bad to do? To spit on the ground like that? I don't know. It's just water and mineral toothpaste. It's not even fluoride toothpaste, it's natural toothpaste. Okay, well, I guess I wasn't recording that, but I just threw away my garbage in the trash. Now we just drive some more. Oh yes, we stretch like this. Got that body movement. Oh, that's a worm. There's a worm on the ground. I'll put it in the grass. Come here, little worm. We are getting our morning on. Living at truck stops. She's the only one that truck. She has a Jeep Cherokee that she converted. But she's a truck stop girl. Huh. Eh, rest stop girl. All right, let's get a move on. Oh, that was terrifying. Why did you take so long to start? I'm already there. I didn't know I was going to be going through Tennessee, but here we are. Going through Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, then North Carolina. I've been pretty much everywhere in the States. I don't think I've been in Tennessee too much. Funny story, actually. Uh, the first other state that I ever went to besides Ohio, that doesn't count, is North Carolina. When I moved out, I was no pair there for a few weeks and I got fired, but I was a nanny in North Carolina. Uh, it was terrible and I was so naive, I didn't know anything. And they fired me for being too emo. But yeah, that's the first place I ever flew to, actually, is North Carolina. That's the only time I've ever been there. It's so beautiful here, and gas is only like 294 compared to the last time I got it was 349, so I'm still in Tennessee. It's so pretty. I made it to North Carolina with my sisters now. I'm so tired. Thank you so much for joining me on my first day of living my Jeep. Yeah, I'm proud of my Jeep and myself for getting here. It's an extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.